What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. I'm your host, Sherell Hicks, here to discuss Brandon Boston Jr. Um, Kentucky played Notre Dame today. They looked terrible as a team. Brandon Boston himself looked terrible as a player individually. Um, man, like they were down. They, they ended up losing by one point, but they were down at one point in the first half by like around 20. I saw the game live. I saw it every second of it. Um, Brandon Boston just looked wild out there. He looked wild. He looked like he's not a team guy, you know, uh, for the most part. He played within the system to a certain degree, but when the, you know, about 10 seconds left in the shot clock and he gets the ball, it's, it's eyes, it's, it's straight tunnel vision to the goal. And today it didn't work out for him. He looked, he played abysmal. He looked terrible. Uh, shot terrible from the field. From, from, the, from the three point line, he shot 25%. Uh, overall field goal, he shot 33%. Scored 14, uh, shot a whole lot, missed a whole lot. Um, his stock definitely took a drop in this is a, this matchup here and this showing. He's definitely still top 10 in my opinion, but he was creeping up um, potential top five, you know, top three-ish, depending on, depending on how Jalen Green and Evan Mobley and those guys play. Uh, K. Cunningham had been playing well. Not too spectacular, but the size and the potential, things like that. And Brandon Boston's potential is still there. Don't get me wrong. You no, know, the scoring threat, you know, all that. The frame is definitely a problem. He's trying to finish inside his frame. Six, seven, good size, good height. But 185, his frame is so skinny. But, uh, you no, know, the potential is still there. But he just didn't play team ball today. And the shots he was, when he was doing one on one, which is most of the game, they weren't falling for him. But Kentucky, as an overall team, they don't have a point guard. They have Terrence Clark playing point guard. It's not his natural natural position. I had a couple of turnovers today that were really uncalled for. No, he's just not not a playmaking person. And and neither is B.J. Boston. So, you know, that Kentucky team, um, you know, they get talent every year, as we always say. Uh, Calipari always gets his team with most talented players for the most part. But they've really been struggling ever since, really, AD. I guess uh, I guess the, the, the De'Aaron Fox squad uh, was their last real good team. What was that, like six years ago, seven years ago now? But, yeah, uh, this team is atrocious. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. No point guard, no real good bigs. Brandon Boston plays one-on-one. Terrence Clark isn't a playmaker, but he's given that role because of his size and his athletic gifts. But he's not a playmaker at all, at all, man. But Brandon Boston, though, uh, he was pushing for the top five, top three spot. Now, firmly, in, he's in the lottery still. He's he's going to be picked in top 14 for sure. Probably top 10, top 7-ish range, probably. But, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, though. Top seven, let me see. Kay Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga. That's four. Uh, it's not too many names. It's not too many names I've considered before. Brandon Boston. That's four right there. That's it. That's really. Uh, I have to look into it some more, man. I think that's really a couple more names. But yeah, he might be top five, top seven, just off, you know, just off circumstance. But uh, yeah, he's definitely was, he was really pushing for a top three, top five spot. He still might get it regardless, but to me personally, on my personal rankings, he dropped down to, you know, probably early teens, late single digits. But uh, all circumstance off team need, he might be top five, depending on what team picks where, or whatever. But yeah, uh, terrible game by Kentucky o- overall. They're one and four. Terrible game by Brandon Boston, but I'm pretty sure he'll bounce back. He's a very good young player. Clark is good as well, but Boston, I think, is the star of this team once he gets going, once he gets his, his rhythm. And when that comes, he'll be he'll be a problem on, on the offensive end. But that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.